Hi everybody and welcome to the fourth lesson of this Arduino course. In the last video I promised we would be using different components and here it is. This is a photo resistor and today we're going to make a circuit using this. So if you are ready, let's get started. A photo resistor is special because its resistance varies with brightness. For example, in the dark, its resistance is very high, but when exposed to light, its resistance decreases. There are two ways to use a photoresistor. We're going to begin creating a simple LED circuit, replacing a normal resistor with a photoresistor. Now you can see the LED glows with very little intensity because we are in a dark place, so this resistance is very high. If we go to a brighter place, this resistance decreases, so the LED lights up with much more intensity. We're gonna make this simple circuit and test it. We have the USB cable, the Arduino board, the breadboard, the LED, and the resistor. And obviously some jumper wires. So let's place the photoresistor here. This is not polarized, that means uh, it doesn't matter in which way we put it, okay? These legs are the same, they are not different as in an LED where we have the cathode and the anode. Let's place the LED here and simply one jumper wire from the anode to the 5 volts and from the other side to the ground. And when we cover it, the resistance increases and the LED glows with less intensity. We can also use a photoresistor to measure light intensity through the analog pin and use that information to code a circuit. The way to connect it is the following. One leg has to go to the ground, for example this way, and from the other leg we have to take one wire to the analog pin and another wire via resistor to the 5 volts. Let's put a 220 ohm resistor. So let's connect it as we have said. One has to go to the ground pin. From here Another one goes to the analog pin number 5, for example. And here we insert a resistor that will take it to the 5 volts. Now I'm going to connect it. We're going to add Arduino. And we're going to make a very simple program to, to test light intensity. So this is going to be in live mode. When green flag clicked forever, we're going to create a variable called intensity. And we're going to set intensity to read analog pin Five. Let's connect it. Let's click on green flag. And as you see, if I cover it, the intensity reaches almost 1000. However, if it is exposed to light, intensity is less. If I point it towards the window, it decreases a little bit more. 
So now here we have another resistor and another LED to make a simple LED circuit. This should go to digital pin 7 and the cathode to ground pin. And now let's go to unblock as I've shown you before. When I cough the light a little bit, uh, intensity reaches, when I say intensity means uh, resistance, reaches almost 1000. So let's put the threshold on 950, for example. So the program could be like this. When green flag clicked forever, and we're gonna take an if else. We need an operator here. So let's take greater than read analog pin A5. And if this is greater than 950, so if it is dark, we're going to set digital pin 7, the LED, output as high. So when it is dark, the LED will glow, will light up. And if not, it will turn off. Let's see if it works. Now there's light, so this is off, but if we cover it, the LED lights up. As you see, it does work. And now we're going to make this program interact with some sprites in the screen. So, I'm going to remove Panda and I'm going to add a baby. A crying baby. Here the baby has only one costume. But here we can add another costume. So we're going to add a happy baby. I think it's baby two. Yeah. So let's go to the device and apart from turning on the LED, this is going to broadcast a message called dark. And here we're going to broadcast bright. So the baby will have this. When I receive bright, switch costume to baby 2, which is the happy baby. And when I receive dark, switch costume to baby. Let's see. The baby is happy because there's light, enough light, but if I cover it, the baby starts crying and the LED lights up. When we move the hand away, the baby is happy again. So as you see guys, this is a very handy component which has multiple uses. I hope you like this video, try it at home and see you next time. Bye bye!